And now it's time for intro time. Uh, I guess I'm uh, just gonna go with... Uh, Hey everyone, welcome to another rambling episode with me, Gildam, here to talk about thoughts, ideas, and whatever else is on my mind. That's my introduction, so I'm moving on with the main bit, the main substance of this whole entire video, which is where I just come here to talk about things for about half an hour, and then I move on with my life, because that's how these things go, and I feel better, generally. Uh, I'm gonna try not to make it too... It, like deep this time that was just awkward I'm not really sure how to go about that I do want to open up to you guys but at the same time I can't really force it if it's not made apparent it just kind of has to naturally come out on its own so I don't know imagine this like a zoo and we're all waiting for the main exhibit some sort of tiger or bear or something I don't really know point is I'm gonna go lighthearted because that's how I feel and that's what I want to do because uh, I can keep the flow going and that's pretty good I'm just checking my phone for a quick sec because uh, you know one of my friends is like te texting me on like that the, the Skype I mean I guess I could check the application on my computer but after that I don't want to I don't want to readjust my whole situation and go do that I'm going to just stay right here and talk to you guys, because, you know, I, I guess I'm on your dime. I'm on your time. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to be the thing where I do when I talk, and, oh, man, this is just going terribly. Uh, I guess I should move on to some legitimate points, like, how am I doing? Which is fantastic, because let me tell you, I just cooked from scratch, which might not sound all that impressive, because believe me, if I heard that, I'd be like, yeah, so, what's your point? But, I mean, I grew some tomatoes and I put that in what I cooked. I got some fresh eggs from the chicken and I cooked with that. I made an omelet, everyone, and it was fantastic. Unfortunately, I couldn't really, like, get all the ingredients from fresh, scratch, whatever, from the source. I, I, I tried to go as much as possible, you know, but at the same time, it's like... I, I didn't I can't really get a pig and like cut cut some bacon strips from that and I don't I don't really have the ability to go to a cow get some milk and then uh, make make some cheese uh, likewise I don't really have any uh, scallions that I'm growing so I had to buy that stuff from the store granted if I did have the source for all that I don't know if I could do the whole bacon thing and I don't know killing an animal is kind of a little. It's a little tough for me being the animal enthusiast I am. You know, I love I love all of them little critters and I love the animals and you know, I, it's like amazing. At the same time, I like eating my own meat, but killing an animal is a whole different like it's a whole different story, you know. It's just one of those things where you got the axe and you got the animal and it's like you can try as much as you want, but you know, Gildan don't want to do it. It's a little too heart-wrenching. It's a little too, it's a little too difficult. I don't know. I don't. I never want to be put in that situation. And I never want to think about it because it just sounds really, really fucked up. I digress, though. That's not the point that I'm trying to get with the whole, uh, you know, opinion on animals and stuff. I'm, I'm just talking about, you know, I was making an omelet and it was delicious. You know, and it, it had like those things, you know, it had some cheese and it had some like fresh tomatoes grown by yours truly. It had some like, it had some scallions. I put that into the omelet. It was delicious. Got some cheese up in there. Got a little bacon action going. It was pretty good. Pretty good. I also, uh... I was also consulting my grandma because uh, she had this brilliant idea. She saw it from a cooking show. Basically, she uh, what she likes to do is she likes to take some of the basil that I grow and mix it with some olive oil and then freeze it into little ice cubes. And uh, yeah, it's really good for cooking, so I decided to try that out. And uh, You know, it actually turned out not too bad. I'm, I'm going to have to mix it a little bit because... I decided, you know, to grease up the skillet, you know, I'd, I'd put some of those, uh, some of those, like, ice cubes onto it, just kind of wet the grill a little bit so that I can, like, cook my omelet, 
but the thing about it is if you don't mix it it kind of just clumps together when you pour all the stuff in I didn't I didn't think about that I didn't realize that was gonna be the thing because you know an omelet kind of spreads out when you pour it into the skillet so I was thinking it's either gonna do one or two things and lo and behold it did the thing that I didn't want it to do so next time tomorrow morning I'm gonna do that and that'll be good I'll get myself a I'll get myself a better omelet it'll be delicious I also poured myself a glass of grape juice which I made actually yeah that's right I made some grape juice <clears throat> I made some the other day because you'll see we have grapes where I'm where I'm living we have grapes we have a whole grape vine and it's grape season and there's a lot of grapes and they're delicious they're a little tart but you know I, I like to think of them kind of along the lines of you know a warhead it's got a lot of sweet it's got a bit of it's got a bit of a kick to it a little tang going for it you know a little a little sour but it's still delicious nonetheless and so I was like man I really really want to like take some of these and just juice them and mix some vodka with that now it's a weekday so I can't really do that kind of stuff I don't really like to drink on the weekdays because I gotta work and so it kind of ruins my whole buzz that I would have going on any other day but of course you're listening to this on a Sunday or some other day I don't know it might be a weekday I upload this on Sunday though so uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna just assume it's Sunday from your standpoint because that's when I uploaded it Of course it, it could be any other day. So that said I don't like to I don't like to upload it when I'm not on my weekend Which is actually the weekend because my job allows me to actually have a Monday through Friday schedule and then Saturday and Sunday I get to do whatever the hell I want. That's great uh, But all that said Yeah I didn't really like feel the need to go and just do what I had to do which was like put some vodka into the grape juice I mean I want to do that because it sounds delicious it's like my own version of wine because uh, I don't like wine I don't like beer you know I tried doing both of those I tried drinking some of it just didn't taste that just didn't have a good taste to it you know just kind of my whole body just kind of rejected it not really projectile vomiting but it's just like no I don't I don't like this and you know I hear people say oh come on man if you keep up with it you know much like coffee you develop a taste for it and it's like sure that might be true but I don't think I really want to acquire that you know I'll just stick to my hard alcohol and just mix it with stuff and get a nice buzz going because that's what I like to do you know I like I like making uh, like mixed drinks I like taking the alcohol mixing it with something but not a lot of it because the thing about hard alcohol is it has a strong flavor with it usually it'll ruin a lot of whatever you mix with it even vodka which is something I like to consider the tofu of alcohol it'll take on anything that you really just mix it with if you add too much vodka well it doesn't really apply to that rule you know it it also has a very strong flavor to it and it'll ruin whatever you mix it with so the idea or the ideal situation is you just take a little bit of hard alcohol mix it with whatever you're trying to mix it with and then it'll just kind of have a nice flavor going with whatever you mix it with and it'll be quite delightful not enough to really get you smashed not enough to get you really drunk but you know it'll get a nice buzz going it'll get a little bit of a buzz some people will say that's hardly anything you know I can't feel it there's no buzz whatsoever you, you added barely any alcohol so how is that gonna do anything well my my friend you know it's not about getting drunk it's about the buzz going and having a good time and just enjoying life you know I don't really want to get completely smashed no I don't want to get blackout drunk that's not a good situation that's just you waking up with regret the next morning or at least that's something more or less what I've learned over the years not that I drink a whole lot but occasionally I find that you know a good drink is good but too many of them and you just you have so much negativity and regret and 
It's not a good situation. You don't want to do it. Some of you viewers might be too young to really know what any of this is, and that's fine. You know, don't don't feel like you need to drink. You know, it's it's much like any sort of intoxication. A lot of people say, "Oh man, it's the best thing ever." Me personally, I say it it can be all right sometimes, but it can also lead to a lot of problems. You know, you can put yourself into a really bad situation. You know. And also, everyone has their own preference. You see, I like drinking. But I know a lot of people who really don't like drinking. They like smoking the marijuana. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Especially here in Washington State, where it's legal. To some extent. And, uh, I got a friend who's actually in the business. And, you know, that's cool and all. He actually likes it. And I don't blame him. He doesn't... He doesn't do it all the time, you know, he's not like a straight-up pothead, he's, he's got a pretty good head on his shoulders, he's pretty business-like, and he, he's very chill, and it's really good, and I talk to him every now and then, and I tell him, yo, yo man, if you want, you go get high, I'll go get drunk, and together we'll have a grand old time, because I, you know, my intoxication preference is drinking, I like, I like, you know, ingesting my sort of like drunken stupidity he likes smoking it and you know it's fine you know i i feel like stoners and and alcohol alcoholics the drunks you know they can be a good they can be a good group of people together but they can also not i guess it depends on how that works because some people they uh when they drink they get really belligerent you know, and that's another thing about intoxication. You never really know who you're going to end up with until it happens. Uh, any sort of influence can really change a person. You can see the true colors behind who they are. Me personally, I try to be a happy person because drinking when you're sad and depressed, that doesn't seem like a good situation. I like drinking for, you know, ha like ha good reasons, you know. It's, it's, it's good to drink with no problems it's good to smoke with no problems you know because it only I feel like it only elevates the situation that that's what I choose to believe of course <clears throat> as I as I was saying you know it, it it's not like you're missing a whole lot <clears throat> yeah I'm really mucusy today apparently uh, I digress that's not the whole point that I'm going with this my point is you know I, I, I've known people who've actually done the whole smoking weed and like not really doing a whole lot, becoming a real stereotypical pothead. It's not a good look. I don't want to hang out with those people because basically it just involves them sitting on a couch, like talking about random things, which is cool and all, but then it's like, yeah, I deal with the smell and they're just kind of not really doing anything and it leaves me really bored. Especially because I don't have any alcohol. And it's not like they're about to go get some. Which is fine. <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't be all like, let's go get let's go get some like hard A or something like that. Cause you know, me I like my mixed drinks, you know, it's it's a little bit of an elaborate situation. Also, one thing I'm very particular, very very certain about, I don't like drinking in a place where I like I have to I have to move on at some point you know I have to drive cuz you know there, there's that uneasy feeling of like man what if I have to drive and I've had like seven shots like how am I gonna deal with this the answer is not very well <laughs> you know there, there's a lot of things where they say don't drink and drive me personally I'm kind of like man I, I don't want to drink and drive what am I stupid? Do I want to get into a car crash? I've seen me drunk. Do you think I trust myself behind the wheel? No, no, I don't. I don't. Even drunk, I'm just kind of like, this is a bad situation. Like there's, there's like that little voice in the back of your head. You know, some people say it's your conscience. Some people say it's some sort of alternate persona, or maybe that's just me. I don't really know. Point is, you know. There's a lot you can do it intoxicated. There's a lot of things that can happen. A lot of regrets. I think I've already said this. You know, I'm probably just retreading. Uh, and, and, you know, drunk driving is just one of those things where it's like, I know when I'm drunk, I'm not going to give a fuck. I'm going to make some bad decisions. I like to at least be in a situation where I don't have to worry about all that stuff. 
because I do worry a lot to an unnecessary level of just man you really shouldn't you should just chill out bro but at the same time it's like you know I refuse to have any alcohol touch these lips as long as I'm not in a situation where I can't just like I don't know get get like at least a good five hour rest some sort of situation where I can just sleep off whatever I got going on or at the very least wait it out I mean yeah if I, if I can wait it out I mean that, there's always that possibility I don't really like it but then again I also try to make sure I have some water on standby because let me tell you I'm not saying it helps sober you up quicker I'm just saying it helps pass things through your system a lot faster it also helps in in one sense or another because you see alcohol has a tendency to dehydrate the body how I know this uh, it's, well it's not like I had any medical emergency or anything like that it's just it, things you hear every now and then like on the radio or like in a book or in school because you know my school kind of covered some of this stuff you know they're kind of talking about all these crazy drugs and alcohol and like all the bad situations you know it's kind of been hounded into my brain a little bit but point is you know alcohol alcohol has a tendency to make you sweat a lot it tends to make you dehydrated it, it tends to pass all the water through your system have it just flush out of your body as quick as possible and then you you know become dehydrated and you get really lightheaded and you, you it's, a, it's a bad situation you'll throw up uh, I don't know, the effects are kind of gnarly, if you will. So, I like to have some water on standby, and especially right now, being that it's still a little warm, because it's it's not quite fall yet, it's the tail end of summer, but it's, it's getting close to fall and things are starting to cool off. I, I like to have some ice water. I like to put it in the freezer, I like to drink that, it's, it's nice, it's cold, it's still pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh, all that said, yeah, you know, I, I try to play it smart, even even if I'm acting like a stupid loon. <laughs> I do that every now and then, you know, when I'm recording. I like I like to have a drink. I like to do the things that I do. I like, I don't know, tomorrow, Saturday, because, you know, it's not Sunday when this has been uploaded. But, you know, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, but, yeah, you know, tomorrow... I am planning on making myself a pretty wicked awesome drink, you know, I'm gonna take that grape juice that I made by myself, cause you know, I, I took the grapes and I, I put them in a pot and I stewed them, cause apparently that's what you do when you make some grape juice, or that's what I chose to do. Then you know, I strained it a lot, I, I had to strain it through a, like one of those cloths, just to get all the impurities out. And uh, it's, it's got a pretty interesting flavor to it. It definitely has the grape juice, but it, I don't know. There's so, it's not like you go to the store and you get like a, a bottle of grape juice or something like that. It has its own flavor to it. And uh, I, had to, I had to mix it with the water. I had to dilute it. It's, it's very strong. It's very concentrated, if you will. I want to say it's like grape extract, but I don't think that's the right terminology. I'm just going to call it. It's extremely concentrated like just the grape juice on its own is it's too much yeah, also it because you know it's not the sweetest thing I had to add some sugar to that it's like making lemonade in other words that's what I found with my own grape juice experience of making it from scratch you know it's like it's like making lemonade in a lot of ways you have to take the grape juice add some sugar and add some water of course I did all that and then I put it into a gallon jug and you know what it's doing wonders right now, but it still feels like it's not enough water, so I still have to cut it with some more water. And I'm fine with that, because, you know, it, it tastes great in my opinion, and you know what? It definitely has a refreshing feel. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that it's like my own fruits, like the fruits of my own labor have led to this, and it's a, it, it's something special about it. It feels like something special, and you know what? I'm fine with that. It's like the omelet. It tastes great, and I, I feel full. I'm, I'm extremely full. Oh, I don't know what to say. I, I guess there's something, there's something special about doing things on your own and like going straight from the source, like doing, like trying to do stuff uh, and make make some things happen from the source. You know, like try to try to actually get some eggs from chickens and make an omelet from that. You know, I don't know. I, I feel like there's just this this hidden element to it. You know, 
it, like, uh, it, it, it almost feels a little bit like that one movie, Kung Fu Pandy, when you, uh, when, when you have, uh, Poe figure out that the Dragon Scroll had nothing in it, it's like the secret ingredient was inside a whole long. It, it sort of feels like that. I don't know if that sounds a little cliche or a little stupid, but it, I don't know. For my money, it definitely has like that essence, and you know that that's the magic. I choose to believe that that's magic. You, you gotta believe, okay? Life is too cruel on its own, and you gotta believe that there's something out there, something that is just there. It's a hidden element. Oh man! All right. But yeah, I got tomatoes. In fact, I've been showing you guys about the tomatoes. I've actually had, I actually got to eat some, so that that was great. The pepper's not ready. It's still big, but it's like, it hasn't changed the color. It's still green. I probably could eat it, but nah. I got a feeling it's gonna change color. It's not even like a light green, uh, light yellowish green, which would determine it's a banana pepper. It has, it's just green. It's just a nice, dark greenish, which, uh, tells me nothing right now. Not, not a sign that I can harvest it, and not a sign that it's ready to be used in cooking. But, I digress. Going on with my own self and talking about my own things and my own experiences. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a good day. I will say that. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. And also, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just looking at my phone. There's really not a whole lot going on this week, I guess. Which is fine, because, you know, that's not the point of these things. Is talk about whatever you want. Uh, oh, you know, I actually do have to record some Plants vs. Zombies. As of recording this, I have no footage whatsoever, so I guess tomorrow's going to be a very busy day. In fact, if I think about it, uh, I might. I might just spend the whole weekend recording. Because, turns out, I'm up, I'm up to par with all my stuff. I got all my footage, and I'm pretty happy with the results, but at the same time, man, uh, as far as much as I am ahead, I, I'm kind of behind in recording stuff. And speaking of which, I have to record a new series. Of course, I might not do it this week. I might do it next weekend. Uh, not that I spend all my weekends recording. In fact, the past two, I've... I've actually been a little busy, so it's it's been a bit of a challenge trying to make sure that I can get things going for the channel. But at the same time, I, I'm not sweating it or anything like that. I, I have been able to make things happen. I have been able to get things going. Uh, and also, The Last Guardian is, is starting to get pretty heart-wrenching. I mean, I had this one issue. I'm not going to explain it. You guys can go watch that. Uh, I will say... What, I don't remember what part it is, but it will be titled Heartache. That, that's, that's the last part I did as of, as of, you know, me going on here and, like, talking, me doing this rambling episode. Uh, Heartache is the last one that I did, and man, it was, it was hard to watch. It was really hard to watch. Uh, I'm not trying to really give anything away from The Last Guardian. It's just, man, there was a lot of fills. It, it's still a good part, you know. I'm not gonna say anything, but I am thinking that man, the Last Guardian is just gonna get to one of these, one of those parts where it's just like I don't know if I can LP this anymore. It's gotten really difficult. I'm actually crying here. It it, it got it got very close to me actually, like just just sobbing, just crying my eyes out, just literally the the floodgates open and my eyes just can't stop tearing down. You know, it's something along those lines. It's pretty insane. I digress, though. You know, that's not really where I'm going with this. Where, where I'm going with this is, uh, I, I have to record a new series, you see. I got, like, the Parasite Eve going, and, uh... Oh, was I not supposed to spoil that? <laughs> well, too too bad. I'm, I'm planning on doing Parasite Eve. I know I talked about it a couple times here and there but at the same time I really don't think anyone's gonna listen to this for one and two I uh, yeah it's kind of like I do plan on doing that and if you are listening well you can expect that I'll, I'll probably have that going sometime at the end of this month hopefully uh, and by then maybe I'll even be on my vacation which will be fantastic I'll definitely have it recording when I'm on vacation which uh, will happen next weekend for sure 
Hopefully. Unless something comes up. Something might come up. I might be hanging out with my sis. Who knows? I've been hanging out with her a lot now that I think about it. It's kind of it's kind of weird, but at the same time, I, I kind of dig it because I haven't really seen her that much lately. So actually, getting some time to hang out with her is kind of it's kind of awesome. She's uh she's she's been here when I do the Evil Within. I think I've linked that a couple times. I'm gonna link it again, you know, in a card. Here you go. All right, there we go. Uh, other than that, you know, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. You know, it's like. Things are going, things are pretty well. Uh, I have a schedule. Uh, I, ha I have a schedule. I have a vacation scheduled, which is pretty good. I got paid for that, so I I'm feeling pretty good about that. I also got a lot of my uh, time off that I didn't spend last year, because uh, when you hit your anniversary, all your time, all your paid time off res resets, so... Uh, all the stuff that I didn't take, I got that all cashed out, so I got a huge paycheck this week, and that was fantastic. Uh, I, I'm pretty rich at the moment, not not trying to brag or anything like that, just just unexpectedly I have a whole bunch of money, and so uh, I, I think with the way things are going, I'm going I'm to get a lot of my bills like paid ahead of so I don't have to worry about that. And then I'm also going to like work on trying to get a lot of my other projects that I got going on. Like my indoor hydroponic setup. Which I did order a lot of those components. So once I get that set up, you know, I'm, I'm going to have some photos on that. You know, I'm going to be like, yo, I got my indoor setup. How you like this? How, how's, how, how's it going to work? I don't know. But I'll take some pictures as things progress. Something along those lines, you know. Because uh, that, that's how I feel. That's what I want to do. That's how I'm feeling about this whole entire situation. I just had to check the time. Because, you know, I never really know if I'm eating up the clock with all these ran random thoughts, random ideas, random things that I got going on. Uh, but it's all good, baby. It's all good. I don't really mind talking to you. It's just, you know kind of feel like I'm somewhat on a time constriction not not the biggest deal not something that I'm really sweating just something along the lines of making sure that I don't eat up the clock and it's not 40 minutes in <laughs> that said you know thinking about what I'm gonna do it, it's pretty pretty awesome pretty pretty crazy I got a lot of money for my vacation and I'm happy with that because man I need I need some time off I mean for sure I'm gonna be focusing on the channel for part of that but on the other hand I'm gonna go places I'm gonna go visit some friends I'm going to the zoo man I haven't been there all year I need, I need to go see the Komodo dragons because if there's one thing you you don't know about me or if there's one thing you should know about me I'm, I'm pretty sure people know this but if you don't let me tell you, Gellum likes the Komodo dragons. They're the best animals ever. Cause I mean, you, they got they got the claws, they got the jaws, they got the venom. Which uh, turns out Komodo dragons are venomous. They're one of the largest venomous animals in the, on the planet, and if not the the largest, I mean, they're one of the largest. And uh, they're the <sighs> needless to say, they're the largest venomous lizard. In the world, because, I mean, they're the largest lizard in the world, so they hold two titles to that. Uh, they got a powerful tail. They can take down deers. Uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. They're, they're like a living dinosaur, and it's, it's like, awe-inspiring, and I, I love them. And they're adorable, and they're part of the monitor lizards. And, you know, that family is pretty amazing, because they, they're pretty big, all that said. Um... I, I, I like I like monitor lizards. Uh, I, I could keep going, but you know I, I think I think I've said enough. I think I've stated everything. I think I ran out of Komodo dragon facts. <laughs> uh, anyways, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the zoo on my time off, and uh, I'm I'm gonna go like enjoy myself. I'll see if I can get Spider Mikey or someone involved in that. Uh, I also will be going to a concert, and I'm looking forward to that, because the first concert I went to, and the only concert I went to, it wasn't that impressive. It involved my ex. Let me tell you something. When it comes to my ex, 
There, there's a lot of things I can complain about, but I'm, I'm gonna try not to, at least not unless they're relevant. Like, you know, this concert that I went to was not that impressive. It was for this band who I don't, I don't know if I should really talk about because I feel like I'm gonna piss someone off. Uh, but that said, I, I will, I will say that the band themselves, listening to some of the songs that they have, because they're, they're. I guess they're somewhat famous, you know. Uh, I didn't know about them, but my ex did, and I'm I'm guessing that like a lot of people know about them, which can say one of two things: either they're popular or they're not popular. Popular enough, anyways. Uh, they they got a lot of stuff that's like over sexualizing women and uh, a lot of screamo shit, which I guess can be good if you if you really like do do some stuff with that and make it like impressive i don't really know i don't think it's that impressive but you know people do so there's that but anyways it was it was this weird concert it was like so it was them but they had like i, I want to say like 10 opening bands or something like that it was it was something pretty ridiculous and this was a concert that was going to go on for like you know like several hours but it was not a day that I could really spend several hours. It was a day where it's like, okay, it it was a busy season at work, which is usually sometime around Christmas, uh, usually in December, because if I remember correctly, that's when the concert was. Uh, I had to be at work. They weren't going to take no for an answer. Uh, it, it, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, they might let you off once or twice, but after that, you're probably going to get fired. And so, you know, I, I probably could have no-called, no-showed. I probably would have gotten talked to. But, you know, I, I didn't really want to be at this concert for one and two. Um, you know, the, like, I was already kind of seeing some things. Like, I was already seeing the downfall with this relationship. So, you know, a, a sort of guilty pleasure of mine was just kind of being like, Yo, I have to go. <laughs> and being that I was her ride, you know, she had to leave with me. And she was she was so upset. She was so mad at that whole entire situation, you know. And uh, I managed to throw the whole, like, thing back at her, you know, because she was, like, she was, like, pouting and, and really upset because she was like, This was the concert that I wanted to see all year. And, uh... You know, she, she was starting to have, like, a major fit. And, and you know, like, I told her, you're not the only one that's upset. I wasn't really upset. I was just kind of like, man, I I'm glad work kind of had to happen right about now. So, you know, I, I got out of that. And you know what? I said it, I said it with, like, probably the most dead-on look that basically was just like super serious just like no way that you can like you can like just take me like for no i don't know i don't really know how to describe it it was just like a super serious look and she was like i don't know she she's like i'm over it because <laughs> i didn't want to deal with her bullshit to be honest she uh she kind of suffered from by like a by bipolar disorder you know uh and by sort of and a bipolar i mean she was bipolar pretty severely not something that i recommend uh was was a good choice for like your first relationship i, I could go into more details but at the same time uh you know it's it's one of those things where like being a deep relationship and or not really a deep being a deep subject and talking about my first relationship, a little awkward situation. Uh, I get a little nervous talking about it. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I managed to avoid her going from completely just like off the deep end, losing her shit. And, uh, you know, I, I felt better about that. Not something I really want to go too heavily into, but yeah, you know, I, I managed to avoid like sticking around in that concert and it was not a good choice for a first concert you know I'd, I'd rather go see something like the Foo Fighters or like I don't know I don't I don't think I have enough time to just lift the list off bands that I'd rather go enjoy but all that said man what an awkward topic you know if I if I was really gonna take this seriously, I might scrap this, but screw it. I'm gonna leave it all in. This is what I chose to go with. You guys can choose what you want with this. I said it wasn't gonna be a deep subject. I wasn't gonna go deep today, 
because it's a little difficult for me, but I guess I kind of did anyways. Um, all that said, I'm going to end it off here. You guys do what you do. I will see you guys later, hopefully. Next week. Hopefully next week.